What up fam, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb. Before we get to lunch today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good monstrous eats like these. Welcome back, it's us treat. Great play fam, come on, let's eat. Thumbs up the video, let's get to at least 1K likes. Not gonna complain if we get some more. Shall we pray? First of all, we want to like to give honor and thanks to God. We'd also like to thank you for those that are joining us and regardless of what mood and temperament they're in, we, we pray that it's uplifted by the time they depart. Father God, we'd also like to thank you for timing. We'd also like to praise you and glorify you and magnify you as well for your divine will. Father God, we'd also like to thank you for timing. We'd also like to thank you for knowing that your divine will reigns supreme at all times and we can walk steadfast and firm in knowing that. So in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Woo! Yeah, Jack. So what we have for y'all today, this is a loaded enchilada burrito. We got chicken, beef, pico, corn, black beans, um, cilantro, lime, rice, some red as well as some green as well as red enchilada sauce with some queso cheese. And as you can tell, my mouth is watering just talking about it. We've got some avocados on the inside as well as some crema. Not sour cream, but we got some Mexican crema. And I ain't getting no good cut on that. How y'all been fam? What y'all been up to? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I've been cooling and getting some things together and in order. So been ducked all behind the scenes, no. But something that I'm trying for the month of September Not a challenge anyone else starting anything, but challenging myself to 21 days of consistency. So my goal for the month of September is to have 21 videos uploaded. And regardless of where it falls, I already know that I'm proud of myself or even trying to hold myself to the higher standard instead of just doing it lackadaisically how I have been. Because I've really been living and enjoying life not fully treating YouTube like a job track as well as putting forth all the effort that needs to be put forth to it in the for in order for it to fully grow and flourish like posting on multi multiple social media platforms and not just YouTube. It's really counterintuitive to only post on one platform. Because these days they all are linked and work together. So posting on multiple platforms, it garners you more eyes, period, on your brand versus back in the day 
how people perceived it to whereas each one has their own set of algorithms. And aren't intertwined. So when I say all the way getting into it, I mean in that regard as well, posting on multiple social media avenues. I.e. promoting can't expect to be fully successful in the arena if I'm not utilizing and applying marketing. A massive part of social media is marketing. So, I've been taking my time in order to do things behind the scenes to build overall on what we already have. Chorito is so good. Some green onions would have really set it off. And as I'm eating, I wish I would have put more chicken. Because it feels like it's so spaced out. This container, <laughs> this container had a bit of weight on it. And as I was carrying on my man, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna eat. So I'm definitely going to be eating more than half of that. Y'all, it is September. The ninth month, G. We have literally gone past two thirds of the year. Next thing you know, we're gonna blink and it's gonna be 2024.
because 2023 is already getting on the bottom hill. Folks be saying years don't owe them nothing. Oh no. 2023 or a lot. A adults out there and we'll say 18 and older so do you have or have you had instances where the relationship with your parent wasn't the best and you're doing everything you can try to maintain a relationship, nevertheless, salvage what semblance of a relationship may be left there. And it seems like no matter what you try, they continue to self-sabotage. this type of situation what did you do how did you handle it and did your first plan work out as well as you thought it was gonna work out or did you have to go back to the drawing board and come up with another plan
So Aiden has a geography test upcoming and it's on the oceans and the continents with how the map is labeled it feels like he's going to have to place them in their particular locations so We're also getting him familiar with the location as well as the name of all the oceans and all the continents and getting and giving him little tips and tricks and pointers to help him in the moment like when it comes to your continents four of the seven continents four of the seven continents begin with an A. Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Australia. And America is split into two. He always says America when he's trying to remember Africa. But in a couple of days, he should have that habit broken and he should have Africa internalized as well. Andrew has been turned up at school. Every time they send his test home with the results, it's usually all points out of the total max. He typically gets all the max, all the points except. <clears throat> There's usually like one odd uh, and one like random page where it's a is one point missing. So for the most part, when he does bring his information home, he had, he's achieved all the maximum points. So we continue to remind them we're proud of them and keep up the amazing work. I sit here bump my guns with y'all. I really wrecked this whole burrito. finished. That's all that's left.
Well, fam, this has definitely been one for the record books. And disbelief that I matched that burrito like that. It was not the plan. However, sadly, we have come to that point in the video where we must let you guys go. So, until next video, fam, love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed, be the light for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for the next person today. Alright, y'all. It might not be some cake from a super lavish bakery, but it is a sweet treat. From Publix, nevertheless, it is a carrot cake with some vanilla icing. I'm about to wreck. I absolutely love a good carrot cake. I know some people can't rock with it, like some people can't rock with uh, fruit cake. I've never had fruit cake. And I'm not gonna say that I can, but I understand. Unless someone is just having an off day, Publix and bakery items. The staples, they usually never miss. I went in there, what was that, like two days ago? And they had some pumpkin cupcakes. I was trying to stay on task, so I did not get them that day. But you better believe I'm getting them sometime this week. There's only been one time where I've had pumpkin cupcakes. And it was a fellow service member when I was stationed in Texas. Don't forget she made some pumpkin cupcakes with the homemade cream cheese icing. And when I tell you those cupcakes were so slap, it allowed me to not have a biased impression against pumpkins whenever I heard it being referenced in regards to food. Because the one time that I did encounter pumpkin on the dessert side, I saw the pumpkin pie, um, the cupcakes, they did not let me down and they completely impressed me. So knowing Publix track record, their pumpkin cupcakes should be slapped too. And if they aren't, it will be about that much sad because while I do have the recipe from my service member, I also want to be able to just go grab something quick that can put me in that headspace too.
profile it is good definitely not trying to overdo it well fam it was nice chopping up with you for a hot second and it was a pretty good dessert hopefully we'll catch you back one day with some pumpkin on the back end